Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze Adwaka and if you're new here, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below. And if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Share your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. I'll always be there to respond. I have missed you guys so much. Oh my goodness, I have been so off, so MIA. See, juggling a nine to five job, a business and being a content creator, it is hard, it is tough. But guys, I'm back again. And then today we're gonna to be discussing a very, very interesting topic, right? I'm going to be sharing 10 things that an elegant woman would never do. Now, elegance is a state of mind. It is a quality that a woman possesses um, irrespective of where she's from, irrespective of her financial status. So it's not about how much you have. It's not about your family background. It is just an in thing, right? It is just there, just a quality that a woman possesses, regardless of how much she has in her bank account. And trust me, it's also not about the clothes that you wear. It's also not about the, you know, uh, cost of your jewelry or the kind of jewelry that you put on or whatever. Elegance is not that. Elegance is how you carry yourself. It is called poise, you know, grace. You know, a demure thing, you know, I think demure is like the word that is, you know, in vogue now. So elegance is a state of mind. Now let's get right into the things that an elegant woman would never do. Now the first point, an elegant woman practices good hygiene. So you cannot be an elegant woman and you do not take proper care of your body. You, you, you have bad hygiene. You cannot be an elegant woman and you have body odor, you have mouth odor, you don't take your bath properly, you are dirty. You cannot be an elegant woman and be dirty. So please take care of your body. Practice proper and good hygiene. Take your bath properly, have a very good skincare routine. Take care of your oral health. Your towels, you need to focus on that. Keep your towels clean. Your makeup brushes, keep them clean. You need to be a clean and neat woman if you want to be a woman of elegance an elegant woman is always very very clean from her head to her toe like head to toe i mean take care of your hair you cannot have cornrows that you've been carrying for a month and you say you're an elegant woman no you need to take proper care of your hair your nails your eyes your everything about you from head to toe has to be clean and tidy if you say that you are an elegant woman. Now on to the next point. You cannot be an elegant woman and you're disorganized or dirty. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. An elegant woman is never disorganized or dirty. Now, aside practicing proper hygiene for yourself and for your body, your environment, your home, how clean is it? Are you the type of person that your kitchen smells? You're so disorganized. Your clothes are like all over the place. Your house is dirty. Even down to the car that you drive. I mean, for those who are driving, right? Your car is always dirty, full of, you know, different trash and all of that. You don't take out the trash in your home. Your house is so disorganized. When people come in, they want to run, you know? You don't make good use of diffusers, you know, um, home sprays, all of that. You cannot be an elegant woman and your house is smelling. That's why we have scented candles now. That's why we have diffusers. That's why we have room sprays, right? Keep your environment clean. So it's not just about taking care of yourself outside. When people see you outside, oh, you look so neat. But then when they come into your house, your house is dirty. Your house is smelly. Your kitchen, which is supposed to be your sanctuary, like where you prepare your food, the food that you eat is dirty. Ah, oh, come on. You cannot do that if you are an elegant woman. An elegant woman is very organized. She is put together and the put together is not just about herself but her surrounding and everything that is around her and she is never dirty now to my third point an elegant woman is never loud ah some of us are too loud we just walk into a room and then we want to be noticed right an elegant woman is noticed whether she's raising her voice or not right it's all about how you carry yourself. When you walk into a room, hmm, once you're an elegant woman, you'll be noticed immediately. You don't have to shout. You don't have to raise your voice. You don't have to laugh out so loud and want to be noticed so bad if you want to be an elegant woman, right? 
you can talk in a very soft, demure manner, right? And still pass your message across. Even when you are angry, even when you are upset, you can pass your message in a very calm manner. I've said that in my previous videos, right? You do not have to raise the top of your voice. You don't have to scream so loud, you know, talk so loud, chew gum so loud. Some of us just go out in public and we're just chewing gum. And people can hear that you're chewing gum. Some even bust the bubble. Like, come on. Where is your elegance? Where where is that class right so please an elegant woman is not loud she's calm she's quiet I mean she speaks when she needs to and if she needs her you know voice to be audible enough she can do that but being loud and trying so hard to be noticed out there an elegant woman would never do that now to the fourth point is almost as if I'm talking about you know the third point which is being too loud when you walk into a room and you lack composure you are not well put together like you sit down and you open your legs anyhow you sit down you're talking to people and you're pointing like you go in public and you're pointing pointing at different people come on that is not an elegant way to speak right composure is very very important comport yourself especially when you're in public practice good table manners you don't sit down and then you're using your hand to you know collect you know a bow swallow and you're oh and then your whole body is dirty and all of that. Oh, come on. Comport yourself when you're outside. Try to learn how to use your cutlery when you're out. Clean your mouth. Use your serviette. You know, just be neat and tidy when you go out. Do not, you know, lose control when you're outside there. Guard yourself properly and carry yourself very well with confidence, you know. Lacking composure is not a thing that an elegant woman would ever do. So when you go out and you sit down in a restaurant, cross your legs if you need be. If you know you don't like crossing your legs, put your, you know, legs together, especially when you're wearing a skirt so that people don't see your underwear, you know. Sit down, talk polite to it's the staff who is serving you or the waiter, whoever, you know. Talk to them with a very good elegance in a low tone. Order whatever it is you want, you know, drink when you're also drinking and you're using your straw. Don't draw the drink to the point that people can hear that there is now air in the glass. Come on. You know, all these things, all this etiquette, basic etiquette, basic table manners are things that an elegant woman would observe, especially when she's in public. So an elegant woman does not lack composure. Now, the fifth point still on, you know, how you carry yourself when you're out in public. An elegant woman does not lack basic manners. And when I mean basic manners, I mean saying sorry, saying thank you, you know, appreciating people. I'm not talking to people in a rude manner, you know, especially in public. Because trust me now, any little thing goes on social media. And it's not just about you being careful or mindful that people are going to post you on social media, but make it a habit, right? Make it a habit to pass your information without being rude about it, right? I've said that before and I'm going to say it again. You need to learn how to say thank you and sorry. Do not be rude to people. When you go out and you do something wrong, a simple sorry just cures everything. A simple thank you. It is not hard, right? An elegant woman knows when to apologize. An elegant woman knows when to appreciate people and say thank you. And trust me, all of these things really, really help. And that is why being a woman of elegance is sweet, is respectful. It just gives you this, you know, grace when you go out. So you cannot be an elegant woman and you are rude to people. You talk to people anyhow. You don't appreciate people. You don't say thank you. You don't apologize or say sorry. You know, people find it really difficult to say sorry. Ah! A lot of women find it difficult to say sorry. Sorry is not hard. Oh, I'm so sorry I did that. Oh, I apologize. That's all. That's all. So if you're an elegant woman, you should be able to know when to appreciate people and when to apologize. Now, an elegant woman does not speak carelessly, especially in public, right? Hmm. A lot of us, we use the B word a lot. And we use the F word a lot. And that is a huge red flag. Mm. An elegant woman does not call her fellow woman the B word, especially in public. No matter how angry you are, you should be able to comport yourself to the point where you don't, you know, use all those foul words and foul languages, especially when communicating, right? And then it's crazy how when you start using these words, they now become a part of you. There are a lot of people who cannot even say one full sentence without using the B word or addressing their friends or even their colleagues with the B word or saying the F word when they are angry. So you cannot be an elegant woman and you're out in public and you're cursing. 
you should be able to comport yourself. Do not curse. Try as much as possible not to curse and use foul words. And also, this applies to when you're typing as well. So it's not just about how you speak in public or how you talk to people. When you type, a lot of people who cannot do without typing in abbreviations. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't type in abbreviations, but when you make it a habit that everything you type, nothing annoys me and irritates me like that thing. For everything you want to type, I-K-R, G-R-W-M, O-M-G. Ah, ah, come on. Sometimes it's typing full. Haba. Because if you make that thing a part of you, even when you want to send mails, you now send mails using abbreviations. And it's so bad. Like, it's so bad. A lot of people are used to it now. You cannot even type a full sentence without using, you know, all these abbreviations or short form of words. So it is not a good habit to, you know, cultivate. So try as much as possible to type in full no matter how hard it is so that it becomes a part of you so that even when you're in a professional setting you don't use you know certain languages you don't use certain words because sometimes trust me you can get carried away and that thing alone might cost you a job it might cost you a big contract it might cost you a relationship that you do not want to lose so try as much as possible not to speak or type carelessly or use very foul words or foul languages especially when you are in public another thing an elegant woman would not do is post every single detail of her life on social media come on you are not an elegant woman that's not a very demure thing to do that's not very mindful you know it's not demure it's not mindful you know uh you're not supposed to be like other girls right you do not post every single detail of your life on social media when you're an elegant woman there has to be some mystery behind you right there has to be this anticipation that, oh, okay, ah, I that posted this today, ha, what's going on, you know? I've been waiting to see you post, you know, there has to be that mystery around you as an elegant woman. Everybody should not be in your business. You cannot post when you wake up in the morning, when you're brushing your teeth, the way you shower, you know, post your relationship, post your kids, post your husband, post how you cook. Everybody now knows every single thing that is going on in your house and within your environment because you post it on social media. It's not even safe because then the public now even knows everything about you. They know how you go, get in. They know who your gate man is. They know who your chef is. They know, you know, what your living room is looking like, your bedroom, even bedroom. They know your bathroom. They know every single thing, every single detail about your life is on social media. I don't think that's what an elegant woman would do, right? There has to be some mystery behind you if you are an elegant woman. Be mindful of what you post on social media. Elegant women do not put every single detail of their life out in public or for the world to see. You know, they keep some little things private. You know Beyonce, right? This is one thing I love Beyonce for. You know Beyonce and you think you know her, right? Because of the things she posts. She's posting just her work, her business, you know, things that she feels the public should need to see but not have very private life. You know her husband, you know her kids, but they are, you know, intimate details that, you know, people do not need to know. They're not necessary. So if you're an elegant woman, you should not post every single detail of your life on social media. Be mindful of what you post to the public. Another thing an elegant woman would not do is not having any goals or any ambitions. Like, you're just there. How can you be an elegant woman and there's nothing going on in your life? Like, you don't have a job, you don't have a business, you're just doing nothing, you're just there. Like, how? An elegant woman has something going on for herself in her life, right? Is it that she has a job, she's a 9 to 5 girly, or she has a business that she's running, or she has a talent that she's harnessing, or she's, you know, an influencer or content creator. I mean, you could do anything. You cannot be an elegant woman and there is nothing absolutely nothing going on for you in your life what uh, how do you cope how do you make money how like how can you just be there don't you get bored don't you get you know i don't know there's this fulfillment that comes to a woman or comes with a woman that has something going on in her life right you must not be a 95 girly you can start up a business and like i've said before i've also shared in one of my videos about 10 businesses that you can do with little or no income and it can make you small money so if you want to be an elegant woman, you need to have something going on in your life. Think about what you want to do. Think about a business that you feel like you're good in. Harness your talent. If your talent can get you money, you can do that. Some people even have two, three jobs. Do you understand? To survive. But there has to be something going on with you in your life. You cannot just be there and then when someone asks you, Oh, okay, hi. Ada, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? 
Um, what do you know? Just that I'm still searching. I'm still... Look for something to do. Keep keep yourself busy. You know, you need your mind to keep being refreshed all the time. If it's a course or something, go. If it's a school, if you want to learn something, learn a do something. Just be busy, okay? Keep your life and your mind busy. It really helps. You cannot be an elegant woman. You have no goals, no ambition. Like, you're just there. You just wake up in the morning, you sleep and wake up. You go to the club, you come back, you eat, you sleep. Come on. An elegant woman has something going on in her life. So if you want to be an elegant woman, get busy. Another thing an elegant woman would never do is flaunt her wealth or brag about her wealth or her status on social media and in public, right? <sighs> I know this might be a controversial point, but trust me, those who know, know. Those who get it, get it. The rich people know themselves. When they see, by the time you come into a place, the shoes you put on alone, you know, your jewelry, your bag, whatever, the way you look is enough for people to say, okay, this person is doing well in her life. She has the money, you know, she's a rich girl. She's a rich girly, right? You don't have to flaunt or brag, especially the bragging part. Mm. You know, every other girl, is below you, is beneath you. You can't sit with us, right? The, you can't sit with us. The mean girls. You cannot be an elegant woman and you're a mean girl. You need to learn to accept people. I mean, you do not have to be friends with them, but be cordial and do not be a mean girl to your fellow girlies, right? Just be nice. It doesn't take anything from you to be nice to people. So if you're bragging all the time about what you have, what you own, it doesn't really speak well of you, right? It doesn't make you an elegant woman. An elegant woman doesn't need to talk too much. By the time she walks into a room, you already know. Her perfume alone is enough to tell you, okay, I smell of money, you know? I smell of money, I rig of money. You know, her gold chain, whatever, you know, her, you know, Birkin bag or whatever, I can tell you that she is rich. She doesn't need to speak out in public and be loud about it and brag about whatever she has. So if you're an elegant woman, stop bragging stop bragging those who see you they know you they know that you have money so you don't have to brag or flaunt your wealth on social media you know posting dollars holding it like this or you know demeaning or belittling people come on and the legal woman would never do that now we're almost coming to the last point but before that let me chip in this one an elegant woman pays attention to detail mm, elegant women are very detailed they know when a strap of their bra is out and they fix it. An elegant woman knows when she has run out of things in the house. An elegant woman knows when there's a tear on her dress. An elegant woman knows when it's time to, you know, change up, you know, her undies, her towels, all of that. Paying attention to detail. An elegant woman is never to be caught off fresh. Yes, I know we cannot be 100% perfect and all of that, but at least try as much as possible to pay attention to every detail. The way you speak, the way you walk, your makeup, your skincare, everything about you, even the way you approach people, the way you handle work, every single attention to detail is very important, especially if you want to become an elegant woman. When you work, Pay attention to the meals that you write. Read them all over and over again. When you're writing, read through, you know, before you speak, think. You know, all of these things are paying attention to details. It's not just about how you look, actually. So all of these things are really important. You cannot be an elegant woman and you don't pay attention. You just wake up, up and go, and you don't care. You don't care how you look. You don't care how you smell. You don't care about people around you. You don't care about how you speak. Attention to detail is really important. Pay good attention to everything. Your body, your hair, your nails, the way you speak to people, your environment, your food, your health. And that brings me to the last point. Oh, MJ, I'm so happy that I was able to share this point today because I know someone watching needed to hear it. And I'm sure that you've learned from it. Now, to the last point, when you do not pay attention to your overall health. Mm, mm, <laughs> you cannot be an elegant woman and you do not pay attention to what you eat, how you eat it, the environment from which you buy food from, the things that you take into your body, your health, your reproductive health, your digestive health, every single thing about you as a woman when it comes to your health, you do not pay attention to it. You just up oh, anything you see, you eat. You're licking ice cream today, you're eating burgers tomorrow, you're eating shawarma, and you want to be elegant. It does not work, right? You need to pay good attention to your health if you want to be an elegant woman. Eat the right fruit, 
eat very good food with portion control take things that are very good for your gut health take good care of your body when you you know hygiene be very very hygienic you know take good care of yourself your health in general you know a lot of us fall sick all the time a lot of us have ulcer we have one issue or the other about our health you have to be mindful you know that okay your body is allergic to this stay away from it you know after taking this you're going to add a lot of weight manage it properly you know have a way a timetable on how you eat take enough water take probiotics if you have to take supplements if you have to pay attention to your overall health because health is wealth if you're not healthy you cannot function properly if you're not functioning properly you know a lot of things are going to be happening in your lives and they'll pass you by you have so many delays in your life so pay attention to your health you cannot be an elegant woman and you don't care you don't care about what you eat you don't care about what you're taking and how you get it out be mindful of that right it's a very demure thing to do when you pay attention to your health guys that's it for me on this video i hope you learned a lot mm, and please i want us to all remain elegant right be very demure be very demure be very mindful of everything that we do to ourselves as women if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and if you learned a lot and drop your comments in the comment section tell me if you're an elegant woman today okay i'll be there to respond until my next video do have a lovely time i'm still your girl adesi at Waka.